In this video, I'll be reacting to New Year Lysia and Galarian Rapidash. So, is it a psychic or fairy? Uh, hopefully, support, support psychic. Oh, I mean, gee, no, support fairy will be better, I hope. Nope, it's not, of course. Huh. Okay, fairy striker, physical fairy striker to ghost. Fairy Hoenn, seasonal outfit, artistic contest lover. Good HP, good attack. Pretty, uh, somewhat bad defense, defense, good speed. I mean, she's a striker, so I guess it's okay without defense. So, the first fairy shift. So, is she gonna have like Giga Impact? That'll be pretty crazy. Super Sing 9, okay. Super Sing up next. Up every time you use a Sing move, that's pretty good. Team anti Toxin, so you cannot poison. You cannot get poison for all your allies. Okay. It's okay, passive first move. Quick attack. Hmm, that is interesting. Okay. Derrick Plus, good. Can max crit. Yeah, Giga Impact. Very high BP move. The good thing about Giga Impact and Hyper Beam in Purple Masters is that there's no cooldown, right? In the main game, you have to wait for another turn before you can use the move again. So that's cool. A battle spectacular. Plus 4 attack and speed, plus increase physical move up next by 0 to 3 ranks at random. 0 to 3 ranks. So you can also plus 0. That is interesting wording. You can just say up to 3 ranks, but yeah, you know what. Whatever. But you cannot max attack, get the plus 4. It's fine, I guess. It's fine. Dream it, be it. Fairy impact. Okay. Regular single. Overall, I think. I mean, Giga Impact is gonna do pretty good damage. Good attack stat and Kai BP move. This should do big damage. Big attack is a bit random, but I guess you can use it when you don't when you are low on gauges. And you also super sync 9, so you can do more damage with Giga Impact after you sync. Oh yeah, let's move on to sync rate. So 1 out of 5, you get Headstrong, Clear Headed, Dark Hit Plus, and PR2. Okay, 2 out of 5, Dragon Guard. Okay. Giga Impact and GR3. Weird Vibes 1, Precognition 2. This is some psychic stuff. Interesting. But I don't know why you would want to use psychic terrain on this thing. There's no psychic moves to boost normal damage. MPR 2 for quick attack. Fast track 9 for quick attack. Okay. So be the way effective 3 for quick attack. Okay. Whimsical acceleration 2. Okay. Some fairy zone stuff. MPR 2 for trainer move. Uh, no. Bronze sync 3. Good. Attack multiplier for sync. Ramming speed. Good. Get the plus 4 speed from trainer move already. Okay. Accuracy. Inertia. Very good. Sing freebie. Okay. Defense crush 9. Okay. Whimsical stability. Stats gonna be low. Stats gonna be lower in fairy zone. Okay. Critical eye 1. I guess you can use this if you wanna make this quick. Then you if you have this then you just use you just need to use direct hit plus once and then the train off once and you max crit already. You don't have to use direct hit plus twice. Okay, you also have super preparation 9 for train move. Okay, this is interesting. Now let's see damage. So we can do something like this. Sadly we have to get one of this, which uh which is very useless to get to access to energy. And this one. Oh my god. The placement is pretty Weird, eh? Yeah. I just realized Giga Impact being 90% accuracy is pretty bad. That means your 4 gauge move can be a waste. So, that's gonna suck a bit. But we can take plus 10 accuracy here to make sure Giga Impact hits. And even minus 3. That's a bit sad. This thing, man, this thing is. Let's see, is it in a way? You could reduce it to some. You, you could have changed it to something else, some power up. But now we have to keep it there and it's gonna block the way. Thanks. So yeah, I guess we can sacrifice the damage here. Get something like this for Giga Impact, DPS, and some nuke. Sadly, you cannot access this because not enough energy. But yeah, let's see. So we max speed. We max speed can activate both Rubbing Speed and Inertia. That's good. I'm expecting some very good DPS for Giga Impact. Yeah, like it's good DPS. Nuke is also pretty good. And yeah, I think that's all right. Yeah, quick attack. Let's, let's do quick attack for the memes. So let's go fast track, all this stuff. Let's just do this for fun. I don't really recommend doing quick attack, but let's look at this. 6000 is okay. It's, it is a zero gauge move, so yeah. Yeah, overall, I think she's okay, but nothing like interesting. It's not very. She's not super interesting, honestly. You do get Giga Impact, which is, I think, I think she's the first one to get that, right? In the game. But yeah, Super Sync 9. Oh yeah, Super Sync 9. Hmm. I guess let's do super effect up next just for fun. So super effect up next. Yeah, I got damage. Let's assume we have fairy zone. Minus one rebuff. Assuming you team with Signal Sub Wally, right? And she also has fairy zone. Obviously that is good damage, but you have to rely on Signal Sub Wally. Water 5k for Giga Impact. That's pretty crazy actually. But yeah, that's no fairy zone, no rebuff. So super effect up next. Yo, the damage right after your first sync with Lysia is very high. Of course it's only for one hit, but still. It should be able to one shot pretty much anything. And yeah, overall, the one says she's bad, but nothing like impressive or crazy. The fact that she cannot even max attack and speed, it's a bit sad unless you take plus track 9 here. You cannot even even plus any attack here. Like buff your attack, that's a bit sad. But yeah, it's okay for some fairy DPS, I guess. 